Action stations. Greetings, folks. Anila Horm here with a World of Warships replay. Today we are featuring Sky Tank Dog in the Premium Tier 8 Royal Navy Destroyer HMS Cossack, and he is divisioned with Get to the Chopper in the Premium Tier 8 German battleship the Tirpitz. They are in a domination match on Haven, and as luck would have it, they are bottom tier and are facing a number of tier 10 opponents. Unfortunately, I don't have the ship upgrades or commander skills for Sky Tank Dog's Cossack, but we can tell based on looking at the minimap with a detection range of 5.5 kilometers that he has at least the concealment expert skill for his commander and is using the concealment system modification upgrade for his ship. Now, Sky Tank Dog sent this replay to me, I guess because he noticed that on my channel, I like to host replays that are uh, insightful and instructive and aren't strictly about how much damage you can do or how badly you can beat up the opposing team, although we do have a few of those as well. And so he receives the honor of being the first EU bass player to have a replay hosted on this channel. So thank you very much, uh, Sky Tank Dog, for sending this in. So a key role for destroyers on a team is to spot, and that is even if the destroyer does relatively little damage. Uh, in fact, in my own personal experience playing competitive play with clan battles and so on, it is often uh, the most critical role, in addition to capping, is to simply spot uh, and not necessarily do a lot of damage. So for this replay, I am going to accelerate it because a lot of the gameplay for Sky Tank Dog is around positioning and spotting for the team. And the key thing to observe is the amount of spotting damage that he does for his team. With four destroyers on each team, it does make sense to have one destroyer go and contest the cap on each side with both Bravo and Charlie and have another destroyer potentially go wide to provide spotting. And that's exactly what uh, Sky Tank Dog is doing here uh, because we can see that there were a number of opposing ships on that far west flank uh, that are intermittently going in and out of detection. And that's presumably because the gearing can't see them consistently. And obviously with these islands in the way currently Sky Tank Dog cannot either, uh, but that's going to change very shortly here. And this is where Sky Tank Dog is really going to have a good influence for his team is that he's going to keep all these capital ships on the side lit up. Now on this map, it is uh, often my experience that, you know, a large uh, contingent of opposing ships tend to move down on this side uh, and having a destroyer on this flank to keep things detected uh, can be very useful and again this is exactly what Sky Tank Dog is doing. Now we see there is an opposing lightning uh, that has been keeping himself relatively detected uh, for much of the first few minutes of this battle. He has now been detected again and has pulled up uh, close to the Bravo cap uh, but he is just going to get focused out very quickly uh, with the radar from the Allied Moskva in conjunction with a high DPM destroyer like a Gearing and uh, Sky Tank Dog's Allied Tirpitz uh, in the cap. The uh, Lightning basically had no chance. So now that there uh, is no other opposing destroyer that we're able to see at this point on this flank, uh, there's nothing uh, stopping... Sky Tank Dog from just circling around here, which is what he's doing, and sort of gradually pushing the uh, opposing flank back. Uh, they um, Obviously, the opposing flank here uh, knows they're being reliably spotted. Uh, they aren't, uh, I don't believe at any point uh, has Sky Tank Dog been detected by the opposing team. So they don't know exactly which destroyer is out here spotting for the team, uh, but obviously they're taking a lot of damage in the process. In fact, if we look in the upper right hand corner of the screen, Sky Tank Dog has already uh, racked up over 200,000 in damage upon his spotting, which is very significant. Uh, so he's just going to continue to uh, keep his distance here from these opponents that are gradually sort of pushing, falling back uh, away from the Bravo cap. Uh, on the east side, the, our east flank is uh, quite a bit weaker. There are two opposing destroyers that are still out there, uh, and they've been putting pressure on the east flank uh, and are now threatening the delta cap. Now, uh, here we get detect an AFK Haragumo, which explains why we do not see 
uh, and another destroyer on this flank. We had only uh, detected three destroyers up to this point. Uh, so this is uh, a, a probably a key reason that the opposing team has struggled a little bit because they don't have this very high DPM uh, destroyer uh, to be you know helping them on this side uh, because certainly uh, Sky Tank Dog would not have wanted to run into that destroyer. He would have lost in a gunfight against uh, Harugumo. He sends out a stream of single launch torpedoes, which is a very good use of uh, single launch uh, to ensure that he gets enough torpedoes to hit the destroyer and take him out of the match. Uh, the Allied team was actually quite behind for much of this match, uh, but thanks to the uh, excellent spotting and the good positioning that Sky Tank Dog has offered here, uh, his team has ensured that they've kept uh, the west side locked down. Uh, and Sky Tank Dog has moved in here to the Charlie Cap to take that and help insure some, uh, bring some insurance for the win. The two opposing destroyers that had moved into Delta have been taken out, and the Allied team is just about to win here. So, uh, again, not really an action packed uh, gameplay, uh, but very instructive and very useful. Uh, so, Tank, Sky Tank Dog did a great job. I don't have all the uh, results screens from this match, but I do have the one that highlights the total amount of potential spotting damage. So great job. Uh, thank you very much for sending this in, Sky Tank Dog. We hope you enjoyed the replay and the commentary. Please do leave your comments below. And as always, we hope to see you out there and we wish you happy sailing.